What's up guys, I'm DT Artman and welcome back to another figure review. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Hot Toys Dark Knight Trilogy DX19 Batman. The Dark Knight is one of my favorite films of all time and I've always wanted a Batman figure from that line. So, with that being said, let's get to the unboxing. Okay, as usual, we're gonna take a look at the box art. As you can see, a picture of Christian Bale in the Batman suit, as well as the Dark Knight trilogy title, Batman DX19, the Hot Toys logo, the DX logo, and the DC logo. Flip it on the side, we get the Batman logo, Batman Defender of Gotham City, as well as the DC logo and DX19 at the bottom. When you flip it on the back, you see the Dark Knight Trilogy title again, as well as all the logos you see for the usual Hot Toys figures. And you flip it on the side, it's the same thing as the other side. Dark Knight Trilogy, DX19 logo. And when you look at the top, sorry, you get the DX19 logo here, as well as the bottom. Okay, now if we open the box, excuse me, we get a look at Gotham City, we have the DX19 nameplate, and we have the Batman Dark Knight Trilogy logo, and Batman Defender of Gotham City here, and when we open this up, we get a look at the figure. And you can also see the Christian Bale head sculpt, as well as the second Batman head sculpt. And when we take this off, we get a better look at his all of his accessories. All right, let's take a closer look at the accessories. Okay, now that we have his accessories laid out here, let's take a closer look. We have the Bruce Wayne head sculpt here. We have a second Batman head sculpt that comes with LED light up function. We have the batteries that goes in the second head sculpt. We have the neck piece for when you want to swap out the default head sculpt with the Bruce Wayne head sculpt. We have this tool here that helps you with the rolling eyeball effect. You can reach into the head sculpt and you can turn the eyeballs to make the figure look a certain way. You have the standard issue extra pegs that every Hot Toys figure comes with. You get three sets of Batarangs here. Or you get a set of three Batarangs, my bad. You get a pair of these bomb pellets that he uses in the movie right here. Sorry if it's out of focus. You get a pair of weapon hands right here. You get a posing hand here. And you get a hand for gripping the batarang. You get these mouth plates here that this tool is also used to swap in mouth plates for the head sculpts, the Batman head sculpts, of course. You have his grapple gun here and it actually reloads and recoils like a real gun. You have his gun that he uses in the Dark Knight film when he has to extract a witness for Harvey Dent and Commissioner Gordon, or Officer Gordon at the time. You also have the EMP gun that he uses in The Dark Knight Rises when he's going after Bane and his goons. And of course you can swap this back. And it also lights up. 
which of course you have to put in LED batteries. You have a dynamic stand here, which you see the steps in Gotham City, as well as the Dark Knight Rises logo. And the nameplate, the Dark Knight Trilogy, Batman. You have his instruction manual here. This is very important. Don't ever forget this. I know I've said this several times, but you have to pay attention to this. You don't want to break your figures. He also comes with a cape. Now, I wish Hot Toys would have designed this cape a little better. Like, make it more posable. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, that's it for the figure. Sorry, that's it for the accessories. That's it for the accessories. Now let's take a closer look at the figure. Okay, as you can see, we're taking a first look at the figure without his cape. And the design of the Batman suit looks pretty awesome. Almost completely accurate. Now, we're going to take a look with the cape on. Okay, now that we have a look at him with his cape on, I gotta say, he looks pretty awesome. As far as your museum pose, this is a perfect pose to put him in. Now, I wish the cape was more posable, but, you know, you, know, you can't always get everything you want. All right, now that we've gotten a full look at him, let's take a look at the articulation. Okay, first things first, let's start with the articulation of the head. You turn it to the left like this. You turn it to the right like that. You can put the neck back a little bit like this. And you can put it forward. Now what's interesting about this head sculpt and what separates it from the others is that you can remove the head it's more magnetic than you trying trying to pry the head sculpt off his ab crunch is not that much but you can crunch it a little bit as such and when you turn to the side excuse me for a second turn to the side you can bend the arm a little above a 90 degree angle. Same for the other arm. Now with the articulation of the legs, you can bend it back at almost a 90 degree angle and you can swivel the toe left and right here. But there's no toe flap, just keep in mind of that. And when it comes to driving it forward, excuse me for a second, when it comes to driving it forward, you can do it like that. Not too far, though. It's not very articulate. But it's decent enough for some cool poses. All right. With that being said, let's get to the poses. After evaluating this figure, I gotta say it's pretty cool. Although there are a few issues with it. Like placing the batteries in the LED head sculpt is really a pain. And not to mention the cape falls off from time to time. But if you can look past those issues, it's overall a pretty good figure. And if you want a Batman figure, this is a good one to get. I know there's the new one coming out from last year's movie. And I'm thinking about picking that one up too. But overall, if you need a Batman figure, I suggest getting this one. So, that's it for today's review. See you next time.